Hi everybody, my name is Jan Dufour and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I live just outside of Louisville, Kentucky. Today, I'm mainly showing you the gift tag. We had a blog hop and the theme was trees and I am in need of tags. So I went ahead and made this and then I thought I had pieces parts left. So I decided to go ahead and just slap a, a card together. We'll talk about that a little bit. Um, we are using the Marius trees, both the stamp set and this really clever set of dies. Um, you know, it's got all of the extra things, you know, lots of ornaments you can cut out, tag topper, which I'm not going to use, so, you know, several stars. Um, this, this is actually ornaments or a uh, string of lights is what all of those are. And they fit, they cut out all, not all together, but they cut them with one die and then they separate and you can string them on the tree. So it's really clever. Um, and then I'm gonna show you a few things that I, not fails, but you know, not my favorite. So I'll show you those as well, things I tried. All right, for the tag, you need to cut the, the let me put this aside so you can see it, but you need to cut the tag, which is also one of the uh, Mary's Trees die sets that comes with that. And then you need a um, three and three quarters by two and a half rectangle. I'm using real red. So we're gonna go ahead and put that on there. Because it's a tag, it's not going in the mail, if you will. Um, I went ahead and popped it up. Um, it just gives the whole tag a little bit more, um, I don't want to say professional because that's not really what we're going for, but it gives it more of a feel and look of a store-bought tag with the dimension added. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. You can watch me peeling off all of these little white things, covers that end up everywhere in the house. Everywhere. They stick to you and they come off in weird places and all that other stuff. Oh, most important, if you've been following me, I am no longer wearing a splint for my broken wrist. I, uh, I'm doing exercises, and of course I can't pick up anything really heavy yet because it's gotta build strength back up, but I am so pleased to not have to deal with that every time I wash my hands. It was getting to be a pain. Anyway, so here's that. And thank you all for, so many of you have inquired to make sure I was doing well, and I appreciate that. Um, the next thing we're going to do is stamp the sentiment to you and yours. That's also in the Marius trees. The little um, backing, if you will, is um, three, uh, no, it's three quarters by one and a half. I did not pop this up. There gets to be a point where it becomes ridiculous, <laughs> too much. And it's just such a small thing. So I just went ahead and glued that on. Whoops, it's upside down. Not that it matters because we could have turned it around, but call me crazy. Whoops. Love liquid glue as you can move it around. As you can see, sometimes not where you want it, but there you go. All right, now we're gonna do the tree. The tree is fun. So you stamp the tree, which I did right oh here which i did right here it's it's two stamps there's the solid stamp and there's the highlights if you will um you could do this in white um embossing um to make it look like snow all the way up but that gave me an idea so i tried making snow I tried it a couple of ways this way i just kind of smeared it on it's okay, it doesn't stay white on any of my samples, and that's because of the green ink, which is water soluble. I tried to make it really really fluffy, if you will. Um, again, it's, it's pretty shiny and nice, but um, it turned green, so it, it didn't do what I wanted it to do. Now, if that's a, a look that you like, good for you, and go for it. I made it real chunky, that was also in my opinion, not what I wanted. As you can see, I have these bottom ends of trees. It's very interesting. 
So what happens is you stamp the entire tree and then you can do one of a couple of things. You can leave it all full as we did for the card. There are five layers. Or you use the dies. In this case, we're using the one that has three layers. Well, I will be able to hold it and show you. Um, it has three, I call them layers. Um, but there's also two layers and one layer and four layers. So you can make this tree any size from here to here. And that's cool because if you're using colored cardstock, you can make it go from light to dark. You can do all kinds of things with this. Um, and it, it made it really fun. So what I did on for this one, and it, it's real easy to do because when you do this, hang on, it sets in and go, and it knows where to be. Um, so you don't have to wonder. And it cuts out, hang on, ta-da, a smaller tree. Is that cool? Now, along the lines of um, sparkle, I made this one with the, I'm sorry, I didn't even tell you what I was using, the shimmery white paste. Um, is what I used for all of those samples. So next I tried the shimmery white paste and I just smeared it over the whole thing. Again, a little bit too much green for me. It's okay. And I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna use it because it's not, it's not really a fail. It's just not the look I was going for. So anyway, those are some of the things I tried. And then let's see, I have one more, one more thing is I'm gonna use Wink of Stella. So I have made one with Wink of Stella, but it escapes me right now. I can't find it. So we've done this. We're going to go ahead and pop this up. Go one, go one, and one. All right. I just love these little dies. And of course, you can make a whole forest of trees, and it doesn't have to be Christmas. Um, wouldn't that be cute? Just a whole forest. Ooh, idea for next, next time maybe. We'll see. So I wanted room for the stars, so I pulled it down here, and we put it there. And then I originally stamped the stars and cut them out. It's not a good, uh, it's hard. You don't, can't see through the star. It's a solid die. So you never really know where you are. So generally after I, I cut it out, I end up having to like trim it so it looks a little bit better. Then I got the amazing idea. We have more dazzle and that will be very pretty up there. So I'm gonna put that on and I'm gonna use just a small smidgen. Actually, it's already cut, I think. A small smidgen, you know, that's a real thing, a smidgen. Ooh. Um, let's see if I can get that in, out of the way. All right. And then I'm going to put that, let's see, I got to cut out. There's a little tiny piece of, um, of the dimensional and I don't want it there. Okay. And then I'm going to lay it, um, just off so that, um, it stays popped up. And then you'll notice this is a, a pretty small hole. And if you want the tag to go through there, you had to cut it. I tried using the, um, like a smaller one. I'll show you what that looks like just so you, you can see it. I'm gonna twist this out of the way a little bit for right now. Um, so I tried this smaller one. You kind of like put it in there and then cut it. And actually, I mean, that's close enough if you have small uh, thread, if you're using small thread to loop it. Um, and, and it works fine. I'm gonna use a larger piece, but I still think I can get that through there. Let me try that. As you can see, I used a much smaller piece here. And then I used a bigger punch. So it's kind of a, I'm kind of doing opposite day today. But I think I can get this through there. Now I could have also 
I have stamps as I demonstrated previously in other things, put to from on the back, but I'm not too lazy. I can write to from on the back <laughs> all by myself without stamping it. it these go, make up really quick. Um, so it's just a, a fun, fun tag. And then you need this sentiment that we previously did. And of course we need, um, oops, I'm gonna just cut these so I can, I use up everything. I mean, it's all good. Nobody can see what it looks like in the back, so who cares? And I will end up going all the way around and using all of these. Sometimes when you're making something long, it's nice to have that little section, although we do have um, strips. Um, they're not the same depth, I guess is what I want to call it, as these, so you can't use them together, which, you know, is not what I like. But anyway, oops. Well, I'm uh, I'm Butterfingers today. Okay, now you can put this anywhere you want. You can put it down at the bottom centered. I was trying to show as much of the tree as I could. So I went ahead and decided that this was the place for it to go. Isn't that cute? The star's a little bit big for this. Um, there is a smaller, it's not a star, that um, it's almost like uh, the Christian symbol star. And they have several of those. They don't have a smaller star, but that's okay. I like my big star. So there you have it. That was an easy thing. And then just real quick, I'm going to show you. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. I wanted to show you what it looked like with Wink of Stella. So because this is a liquid, it is, in fact, picking up some of the green. I don't know if you can see that. but um, So don't go anywhere else but the tree. Um, because it will it will stain it, if you will. But if, if you do it like coloring, it works fine. And then what I usually do, actually, I usually use a cloth, but we'll do this because I don't have the cloth with me. All right, so now let's see if you can see in here. I don't know if you can see the Wink of Stella. It adds just a little shimmer, a little bit of shimmer. Anyway, believe me, it's cute. Anyway, <laughs> now we're going to make the card. And again, you know, I was playing around with it, and I don't particularly like this up here. The reason I centered this, because I wanted the star to be in there, and I was concerned that it might be too tall. But I decided that I'm going to put the tree up higher, and I... I stamped the other sentiment saying, hoping your home is filled with spirit of the season. And I put, I want to put that here, down here with the uh, real red and then granny apple green. So that means I have to have this with this right on the, the um, top. And then I have to decide, this is going in the mail, so I'm going to, Go ahead and just glue it down so we don't have as much dimension. So center with that basically there. And then I am, because I've already got some dimension on it with the three layers of paper, I'm going to go ahead and just, um, and I don't have measurements for because because honestly I just stamped it put it on red and then cut it down at that point. Let me see if I can figure this out. Granny apple green is three by, I would say one. And then the real red is, well, you can always take a quarter of an inch off of everything. Um, so that'd be two and three quarters by three quarters. And then the sentiment is, Two and a half by, should be a half. That's actually three quarters. This was one. Anyway, here we go. I'm going to put that down here. And I like that better than hiding because the tree's cute. And again, we're going to do Wink of Stella. And maybe since there isn't another um, sentiment over the top of it, you'll be able to see. And then sometimes... We're getting down, we're getting down to it. 
Because when I do this, can you hear the air? That means we're almost out. And you should see the, the, the fluid in here. So let me take out the new one just so you see what you had to do. I couldn't figure this out. <laughs> and there was no instructions. See this black band? You don't have it over here, right? The black band. And so that's, it's a protector so that um, you don't have leaking fluid when it's brand new. There is subtly a word that says push. Again, I don't think I'm going to get this to, to show. But anyway, what they want you to do is, well, hang on. You know, this is broken. <laughs> it's healing. It's healed. But I think I don't have enough strength. It shouldn't be this hard. Hang on. I'm doing something wrong. Uh, see, what happens is I'm trying to push this into the thing in there. Actually, take it off. <laughs> it's been so long. This thing lasts forever. I've had it for years. Take the black band off. We'll learn together. And then push a little bit and shake it. And then keep squeezing. Watch this space. Oh, do you see? There's there's gold coming out. Oh, see? Ooh. There we go. Let's see if we get some sparkle going on now. Let's see. I need a little bit more push. Oh, too much. <laughs> see what happens when you put too much. While it's there, Let's just, oh yeah, see this is, I was really out on the other uh, pen because this definitely shows up. Now, this is not going to work, obviously. It, it leaked over there. Um, I'm not going to send this to anybody. But anyway, we can use this as an experiment and see. Oh, it's really pretty though. So you're going to want a new wink of Stella if you're only getting a little shimmer. Let me show you this bad boy. I need to put it everywhere. <clears throat> okay. So we learn together. Take off the, bl the black band. Be careful when you squeeze, but you need it, if you can see in here, you need to be able to see the shine. That means it's coming through. Get it covered up. Now let me show you the shine. Woo, baby. That does indeed shine. It's probably going to take a while, especially right here where I dumped all of it. Um, and I, I don't know. I might be able to take the tree off and take this off and save it, but I probably won't try. Um, so there you have it. And then you would put it on a regular card. This is the first layer, which the first layer is always four by five and a quarter. Um, the card stock is a, a typical A2 card. I always use the thick. I like that it is heavy duty. Um, I think it's actually, is it a, oops, a little bit. It's actually better than cards you buy at the dollar store. Um, and I like that because I want people to know I, I made it for them, thinking about them while I was making it. Um, and then the sentiment, like I said, I like it better down there um, than I do where I put it over here. Although this one's, give, I can give this one away and this one I probably will not. Um, unless I come up with a, a ornament or something that I can stick on there. Anyway, this was fun. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll bring out the tag so you can see. Now, I have a few things. Um, if you are seeing me on YouTube and you want the project sheet, that's the sheet that um, has all of the cutting instructions. It looks like this. Uh, the measurements and that kind of thing, then you go to my website at stampmesilly.com. If you have any questions or if you want a free catalog, you can email me at jandufor at yahoo.com. And if you'd like to purchase any of these items, they're in my blog. You can either click on whatever item you want or you can go directly to my online store at jandufor.stampinup.net. And if you haven't already, please click on the subscribe button down below. 
I post once a week, unless there's a flash sale. Like if you're watching this on the 14th of December, it's free shipping. If you're watching it after that, I'm sorry, but free shipping is, is all over, but that's okay because Stampin' Up! does it at least three times a year. Um, so there you have it. I hope you loved it. Bye.